Hi babies. Um this is really just a random podcast because we haven't done one for a couple of weeks due to being super busy and having electrical storms here. And the random podcast is literally just about catch up with mummy. What's been happening here at the nursery? So I'm going to tell you some news and then Nanny Elizabeth will tell you her news and Nanny Lee will tell you her news. But I'll start because everybody always makes me start. We found some kittens. Could you make yourself sound any more abused there? Everybody always makes you start. I know. Well, I am abused. Okay. Ah, uh, we found some kittens. We're always finding strays here. It's quite a big property and because it's all walled in and very rural, we do get a lot of mummy cats coming and having babies in outbuildings and little corners. It's because they know it's a nursery and uh, babies are welcome here. Well, that's a good one. I'll give you that, yeah? Okay, it's because it's a nursery and babies are welcome here. Um... And there were four little boys and while the lawns were being mowed with a big ride on lawn mower, Nanny Lee and Nanny Elizabeth were running round the garden. Can we set the scene here? <laughs> Can we set the scene? It's about 36 degrees, yeah, boiling sunshine and we're all sweating. And we hear kittens, kittens. So off we go, running literally. And then we're chasing these four little kittens up and down the length because one of them was running back and forth. And it was the most little monster to catch. But we did get them in the end, but they were a little bit snappy, but that's because they were scared. What she means is they were feral cats. But what she didn't say is they were so helpless. Of course they were. They all had blue eyes um no teeth they weren't weaned they were tiny little things one black one um two were long-haired tabbies twins and there was a short-haired tabby as well so we've had them now for three weeks and they've oh. yeah it's only three weeks it, it does they've been bathed they've been fleed they've not got anything on them at all they've been wormed nanny lee is here everybody she's just very ignorant no she's not I ignorant know, she's here um they've been wormed they now are completely trained to a litter tray and they're putting weight on because obviously after they were weaned we had to get them onto solids and so now they're doing really well and they're running around and playing and doing all the things that happy little kittens should do and we've had three of them have purred so that's great one of them's not purred yet but we'll get there in the end um and we're going to find homes for them i've got to be honest I'm seriously thinking of keeping the little black one and I'm thinking of calling him Bumble because people here don't really like black cats and the rescues are full of them. I think it's a superstition thing and I've not got any superstition. So if he doesn't get a good home um, and he's only going to be allowed to go to a, a house home, not a rat cat gym barn crap home, um, he'll stay here and we'll look after him and he'll join Bourneville who was also a little black stray who is a beautiful big black sleek cat now that everybody said he's phenomenal and gorgeous it's like a black panther okay so that's the kitten news we've taken down our baby website because we're building a new baby website that is much more um what do you call it not approachable okay it's um more user friendly and when you look at the website on your phone or your tablet or a big adaptable. screen computer yeah it's more adaptable it's just be, yeah easier to view that's all really it'll be a more user friendly experience um so we are doing that me and nanny elizabeth are going to be sort of trying to build that between us because Yay. we're not very techy at all and it's genuinely like the blind leading the blind <laughs> So I just do the content and they do the techie stuff because I'm a technophobe. Um, hate it. What else is new? Oh, yesterday, Sunday, I had a lovely um, chat with some Canadian and American 
ABDLs, adult babies, furries, on a new Twitter sort of platform I have no thing. Idea how we did that. No, neither do I, but it was absolutely great. And hang on, hang on, I want to give the baby whose chat it was. A shout out. All oh, right, hold on. So I'd like his name, please. He was really charming. They were all charming, actually. They were absolutely adorable, every single one of them. Um, and I loved talking to so them. I think it was the host. And the host was. Because if you get the chance to go and have a I'm listen not even to. I'm sure if we were speaking to Sunshine. It was we were speaking oh. to someone, but Sunshine. Sun, Give us that and let's have a look. There. Okay. Sunsa, I can't say Sunshine. Okay. <laughs> what is it? Sunshine <laughs> Man Twenty One. Right. Okay. Oh. At Sunshine Man Twenty One. Was the host. DL. Um. Was the host. So. I would say if you get a chance to listen to their Sundays. Twitter uh, chat on a Sunday, do so. It's definitely worth listening to and maybe even participating in. Um, all the babies, DLs, furries on there were charming and lovely and nice. So I really enjoy talking to them. Um, I'm also going to give a mention to Baby Junior. Oh, we like Baby Junior. Yeah, Baby Junior. And his um, Twitter profile is... I think it's Baby Junior... I'm looking. Baby J.R. Let's have a look. There you go. I'm better if I read it. <laughs> okay, it is at Baby J.R. Nappy Page. And he used to have a very successful uh, magazine slash blog slash whatever. And due to unfortunate circumstances, it was taken down. And so it's worth just to I'm give, give Baby Junior a follow. You know, he's one of your baby friends and it's always good to support each other. So that's that. And the other thing was, when I make my next podcast... I'm going to be um, giving you the details of a lady who makes clothing. Baby clothing, sissy clothing and all of that type of stuff. And she's got a blog. Um, so I shall mention her too next time, which will be at the end of the week. And the, we're going to cover at the end of the week... Um, what was it we were going to cover? Oh, um, to... Not to right. boo, just... Oh, Think my God, I've gone dumb. Do you ever feel like it, it's like... Yeah. Prejudice, prejudice that was it. My big bugbear in life is prejudice and adult babies or... In the age play community. Prejudice in the age play community because people prejudice. who are prejudicial against it have got no idea what it's about and they're just ignorant. And I also don't like the fact that there are so many ladies now popping into it that have got no real experience in it but see it as an easy way to make money. That's another of my pet hates. There are lots of fabulous nannies out there that are experienced and caring and loving and know what they're doing and there are equally as many that are just money grabbers who have their own vanilla jobs and then just see it as a way to make extra money out of the ABDL community. Now, um, what else was we going to say? Nanny Elizabeth, do you want to have a chat now with everyone and Keep everybody updated on your gossipy life. Well, do you know what you've not mentioned? No, I don't know. Uh, what is it? The sissy competition. Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't. I just Nanny. Mine. Yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, Nanny Elizabeth can tell you all about the sissy competition we're running. And uh, once, because obviously everybody, I think, knows that we had our Twitter accounts taken down and we lost thousands and thousands and thousands of our babies and sissies. Um, we're trying to rebuild our Twitter community up. And so we're going to be holding some competitions. A, as a way of giving back, giving back and B, as a way of extending our hand 
into the community and bringing people into our community because together we're stronger than we are apart. So just hold on. I'll put you on to Nanny Elizabeth. She'll tell you all about the competition. Okay, so the sissy competition is actually... Hold on, I've just lost my phone. I'm rooting through all the phones. That's four on four phones in front of me. So I'll just go on to Twitter so I can read it properly and then I don't make any mistakes. So we go on to sissy girls, don't we? Oh, there we go. I'm following, as all you sissy girls should be, and babies if you want to. Um, okay, so the sissy competition... Babies, if you want to, I want my babies to follow me. On sissy Look girls, on sissy girls, mummy. Okay, so the sissy competition, the winner will receive a free visit to one of our sissy salons, which will include a full sissy makeover with photo shoot and a role play experience. You will leave with a makeup bag full of all the products used on you during your transformation. To enter... You must obviously be on Twitter and make sure you're following all of our accounts. There is a, a list of them in the pinned tweets, but it's Sissy Girls, Adult Baby Mummy A, Adult Baby Nanny E, Adult Baby Nanny L and Adult Baby Nursery. Then you've got to like... I already said Adult Baby Mummy A. That was the first one out of my mouth. She just put her hand up for all those people wondering why I said that. With a hurt, a hurt, sad look on her face she as though I'd forgotten her. Now I'm going to eat the last olive. Okay. Last I'll... olive and I'm going to eat it. Okay, don't choke on it. Mm. Okay, so I'll get back to what I was saying now. You have to like and retweet the tweet that I'm talking about now, which is pinned to the Sissy Girls profile. And basically tell us what kind of sissy you are. For example, you could say, I'm a sissy fagger, I'm a dirty slut, etc, etc. Were you calling that to me or were you saying that's what sissy should say, mummy? Because that was very hurtful the way that came out. I was just saying any sissy that's <laughs> But yeah, on the, uh, on the actual initial tweet there is a huge thread with lots of sissy saying things and actually i'm going to read a couple out anonymously of course but i do do enjoy reading them so i'll just get oh twitter how do you work now okay i'm a shy sissy girl that just wants to be a sissy cock sucking gangbang slut who just wants mummy and nannies to pimp me out oh i love that i do like that one i'm shy i like that <laughs> okay Oh, I'm just going to read a few. I'm shy, but... I'm a pretty sissy baby that... that's think that's the closest description. That's what they put. I'm a sissy tea girl that wants to be the best sissy I can and wear the frilliest dresses possible. I'm a cute sissy diaper girl, completely useless as a man, so I'm kept in a cage and diaper with frilly pink dresses. Love that one. I'm loving these. So... With lots of O's... I guess that I'm mostly a sissy maid. Wait, maybe I'm a bit of a baby. But think about this cute but think about cute prissy dresses. Okay, I have no idea what I am. And a big smiley face. I'm a submissive A B sissy wishing to be more feminine and become a living dolly for my owner. Oh We like, like living dollies. I'm a pathetic little sissy princess baby whose holes are to be used and filled with juices. Please humiliate me for your pleasure. Nice one. And then there's the little two, um, the smiley face emoji with the red blushing cheeks. Mm, really? I burps then. <laughs> nice. I'm just, share, I'm just sharing. So, yeah, that's a few of them. Maybe we should read more on other podcasts, but I will pass you over to Nanny Lee now. I've told everybody about the, the competition and I've shared a burp with you all. We're close now. Nanny Lee? I literally have nothing new going on in my life. You sorted your handbag Oh, out. my God. You're so miserable. I really don't. You sorted your handbag wardrobe out. <laughs> yes, I sorted my handbag wardrobe out. Could have done with a sissy maid. Been really helpful, especially to get to the top shelves. Um, Furby got spayed, and so did Gonzo. Nobody knows who Furby is. No. Oh, sorry, yeah. Well, um, if you follow me on Twitter, you know who Furby is. She's a little Persian cat. I said, really it? There's nothing interesting going on. We're still in lockdown. I said Gonzo. Gonzo's mummy's little Persian cat, which she spoke about in earlier podcasts. And other than that, there's nothing interesting happening to me. So... It's not boring. I'll pass you back on to mummy. There you go. 
So, what does that tell you? We are really boring. We are just normal people. But if I'm being totally honest and confessing, I am a normal person who is super sad that I have not been seeing my babies and my sissies because they are my whole life. But having said that, I am looking now at opening the nursery in August um, for the rest of the year because so many people in the UK have now had their double jab experience and um, I've got my loyal, wonderful babies contacting me to want to visit and several have already booked um ready for this moment when they'd all had their jabs and stuff like that so i know nanny lee was talking no no, no it, sorry it's sorry me. it was nanny elizabeth was actually on the phone, was actually on the phone to someone not the entry requirements, which are... hang on hang on i don't know entry no, requirements i'm, I'm to gonna give you the microphone and you can tell everybody the entry requirements because i know nothing you know what that's what i was saying i have to i have to ring everybody and update them like i'm part of the government but i'm not really um on the entry requirements to come into france if you are double vaccinated coming from an amber country which the uk is an amber country on france's list you just have to have a negative pcr test 72 hours before travel and a negative or not and so either or or a negative antigen test 48 hours before travel and there's no quarantine or anything when you get to this side oh and you just have to write an, a letter saying that you have no symptoms of covid or you know you're not going to die or something like that which hopefully you wouldn't want to die anyway and then obviously to go back to the uk you have to have your negative tests and things like that but I will put you back on to Mummy now. I've shared that little snippet of information with everybody. So it was really just a really quick um, podcast for you to catch up on what we've been doing, which... Oh, don't draw on me foot! I didn't draw on your foot. No, but you were going to. You I were going to draw on me foot. foot. Absolutely not. She's a liar. I she draws... Do that. I don't even have a pen. Liar, you're just throwing it on the floor. No. Nanny Elizabeth was just going to draw on my foot and she does it all the time. You she draws... She, bitch, probably. Foot off. Foot off. Nice one. She draws little hearts on your feet if you're not looking. You've got to watch her. She really is dangerous. Another one is paws. She draws paws all over your feet. So you've got to keep your feet away from me. But right now, I'm not wearing any shoes and I've got no feet. No, I've got no shoes on. Don't pinch my toe. Get off. Um. So... Yes, that was it. It was just a really garbled, crappy, keeping up podcast with things that are going on at this moment in time. So I am going to say goodbye. Um, we will be making a podcast this week, which will cover my massive pet hate, which is age play and the stigma surrounding it and ignorance. And so goodbye, have a lovely rest of the week and I shall put you on to Nanny Elizabeth. Oh, and I'll shout Nanny Lee because she's wandered off. I'm going to say extra. Goodbye. Oh, Nanny okay. Lee. Goodbye, everybody. Nanny Lee's run off. Lee! Oh, she's on the toilet. She's on the toilet, so I will say goodbye on behalf of Nanny Lee.